probably nothing in common between these two because uh, Minkus the Zerg is going up against uh, Faslasher the Protoss. Okay. 20 second Antioch because I'm Diamond Bad. Why don't you uh, tell them what your name is? I'm Snurd of Purds. And who do you represent? Killing Esports. And I'm here with my Bromus. Ingle Wizzle Bedizzle. Ingle Wizzle Bedizzle. Faux Shizzle. My Nizzle. Representing that E Spizzle. And that's what we does right now, Izzle. I. Fuck, man. Yeah. Nice dark map there. We are on Cloud Kingdom, though. I know you can't tell it from the mini map. Why Why is this dark, but the last one was not? I don't know. It's weird. Who cares? Because, uh. We're seeing for Slasher 4 gate. Yeah. Typical things at this point. Overlord Scout gonna go over and see what it can see. Plant itself behind the natural mineral line. And Minkus is totally just being a cock fag. As per usual. He's a very egotistical player. Yeah. But uh, I guess he's allowed to be until we see him lose. While you're in Diamond. You know, he's saying... What rank is Minkus again? I don't know. He might be a Masters. Uh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Who names their kid Minkus, though? Fat Russian yeah. lady. Oh. Well. F Slasher showing some humility, which is nice. Forge first for F Slasher. Yeah. No, uh, but not actually down at his expansion. He's doing it behind his mineral line. As if he was expecting early pressure, maybe? And he wanted to be able to get a cannon up if he had to. So I'm not sure why he did that. Uh, Minkus took his second base already. Uh, and we're now waiting for his spawning pool to begin. He might actually take a quick third. Because this spawning pool is coming out really late. Yeah. Um. And he is. He's taking a quick third. Wow. This Yeah, this is definitely something that uh, we don't see very often. Three base right off the bat. So yeah, he's definitely feeling confident. He's like, I can go ahead and risk this, and I don't think you're good enough to do anything about it. Three and a half minutes into the game, the spawning pool comes down now. Cannon on the way up, and base number two on the way up for F Slasher. Where is that spawning pool? Uh, it's got to be on creep somewhere. Probably in the main. I was just there. Yeah, there you oh. go. I was thinking that was gas, because I'm an idiot. Oh. Well, it's not. Yeah, ain't gas going there, but we see this hatchery. Ooh, he put a pylon down behind the mineral line. He was trying to cannon rush. You cheesy shit. F Slasher tried to do a cannon rush. It was scouted early enough. That oh, and he's still going to go for it. Nah, he's going to lose that probe, and that's going to be the end of this. There's no way. Yeah, he's he just wasted his own time doing that. Well, uh, behind that, though, he's getting his cannons up. Doesn't matter. He's behind economically, no. By three. Well, yeah, by three, by a base, by uh, that lost worker, by the minerals that he lost while canceling that cannon as it came up. Uh, but he's still building a pretty decent infrastructure here. He didn't just hatch first, he three-based first. I don't know, Yeah. It was a bit of a risk to try that, and it got scouted, and he lost it. And so he's at a disadvantage now, and he's just going to have to deal with it and roll with it and see what he can pull out of it. Cybernetics core most of the way done now, so we'll get to see what tech path he chooses to go down once this finishes. Cybernetics core, pretty much the uh, requisite building for all the advanced tech for the Protoss. We see a warp gate coming out for him, so we're going to probably see a lot of... Uh a lot of warped in units, no air here or do you No think air yet. He still has to add on two more gateways or or two more gateways okay, yes. Actually straight to Stargate. That is unusual. So usually you'd see three gate robo or four gate, but he's gonna go one gate, one stargate, and probably go like void ray or something and try and catch his enemy unaware. He's building it right here where it's going to be easily seen by an invading army, though. Only if it's a flying unit, but yeah. Uh, if an overlord drifts in there anywhere, it's definitely going to see that. So, oh, he actually has that overlord not too far away. If he just bounces that across, 
like one meter, he'll see it. Uh, some units dancing around the Zalnaga Tower. Hanging out, Zergling. Yeah, a couple lings poking around the map, making sure there's no ninja expansions, no hidden tech. Yeah, they're looking for a proxy. And this one zealot is going to walk into this base and fight this queen by himself. And lose. And get turned away. Oh, so he, yeah, he just turns around after taking a little bit of shield damage. He probably wasn't aware up until now that that third base was down. Oh, well now he knows. And yeah. how how would you... Oh, that looked like a miss rally, but it was not. What do you think so is the uh, three reaction to this? Here. Twilight Council in the center there. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Looks like Phoenix and probably Blink out of this Twilight Council. But it's going to be a while before we see that. So yeah, probably three or four Phoenix and he's going to go and harass the mineral uh, mineral line with him. Start picking up workers. So tell me about this uh, Phoenix for anybody who's watching who doesn't know shit about this game like me. It's an extremely fast moving air to air damage unit with one ability. It spends energy to lift a ground unit up for like, I don't know, five or ten seconds. Ten. Ten seconds, yeah. And all the while that it's lifted, the other phoenix get to shoot at it. So one phoenix blows some energy, the other three get to shoot whatever the target is. And you can pick up and kill a drone in one lift. You can pick up and kill a queen in two lifts. So it's a pretty easy way. If there's no spark, spore crawlers up, if there's not a bunch of queens at one base, you can go in and do a lot of harassment. And so he's going to shoot down this uh, overlord and then watch his fucking base get yeah. melted. He warps in a bunch of sentries and does force field this off. And those phoenix just pick up four units, not to shoot them out of the air, but just to keep them from doing damage for now, to like reduce the army size of the zerg while they're trying to knock the door down. Uh, but that's so many zerglings and roaches. I don't think that, I mean, there's definitely not the energy in these sentries to, to keep these force fields up indefinitely. There's not enough units warped down to hold them off toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This uh, Immortal comes in, but it's not particularly strong against Lings. It's great against these uh, roaches, but he's actually taken out the pylons and depowered this whole wall. What the fuck? He's got a Void Ray? Yeah, a Void Ray now. Uh, where'd those... Uh, yeah, okay, there they are. So he's gonna take a bunch of shots from that Spore Crawler on the ground. He needs to micro away from that. Loses a Phoenix over that. That's... He not loses the phoenix, but he takes out the queen. Yeah, that's not a good that's trade. That's not a trade at all, but... I mean, the phoenix takes gas, the queen doesn't. The queen's a little special because it does the inject, so you're, you're hampering production, but you don't want to lose gas units for mineral units ever. No, and uh, what do we see here? That's just uh, lings and roaches hatching a plan over here. They are going to now see that there's a void ray out. Oh, and this is not... And no cancel on that base either, so he loses the full 400 minerals for that. What the fuck, man? Come on, for slasher. you got to come back from this. So he's trying to get his third up, and he's in the face of a five-base zerg now. He's transitioning into Colossus Tech. The Robo Bay is now on the way. Blink is now on the way. Plus one weapons is now on the way. So he's teching up and he's also transitioning, um, but in the meantime he doesn't have an answer to this big Ling Roach army on the map. No, he does not. Roach speed is going to finish up pretty soon. 32 more Lings are going to join them, and they're all going to have plus one armor. He's researching Blink. He's researching uh, ground weapons plus two. Oh, that's plus two. Okay. Yeah, uh, his robotics bay is coming up, and Robo facility. Adding another one? Yeah, yeah right so he's going to go double Colossus then. Yeah, that'll be strong if he can get them out, but look at his third base right now. It's getting hit by Zerg forces. Oh, his... Let's hope to see a cancel... And hey, he gets a cancel off. He learned his lesson. No cancel on whatever that was. And no cancel Pylon. on the other. Yeah, yeah, no cancel on either. So another 200 minerals lost. And so his army comes in here oh, and... Oh, uh, he just threw those away. Yeah. No. Guardian shield comes up, but that protects against range damage. And this is almost all lings. Yeah, and let's see if he can... No, he can't GG. hold them off. Well, we haven't seen a GG yet, but it's it's inevitable here. Uh, the slasher is definitely done for. Yeah. Oh, um, I mean, his supply count's not actually as, as bad as I would have thought, but he doesn't have 
I, I mean, still no answer for this big link for the units lost? You? Units lost. Oh, L. Yeah, but look at the look at the mineral count. We're talking about almost a thousand minerals difference here. Yeah, and it's actually Yeah. I don't know, that's not as bad as I would have thought either. What's the worker count? Let's show the units tab. Just you. Um, so 74 drones to the 61. So he's actually F Slasher despite losing all that. He's pretty much in, in good terms economically. He's got almost as many uh, drone or probes as we would want to see out of him for a three base. So he's a little bit oversaturated for now, but once that third base finishes, he can transfer to it. And he'll be kind of hit the ground running kind of style. He does not have any army to speak of. Nine zealots and a couple colossi is not going to hold itself against like 59 lings and 13 roaches and 11 infestors. That's really the big thing there. And as long as they're out and not being used, they're going to just gain energy and they're going to have full energy by the time an engagement does happen. And we're seeing Burrow uh, almost done uh, teching. Uh, hive techs coming down. Um, ground carapace level 2. Attacks level 2. And look at this. There is just infested Terrans coming out like crazy right now. Yeah, and those he, are free. he needs to run away from that. Though. Those are definitely free units. Yeah, just let them expire. Did he cancel that again? Did he forget? I don't know. I think he probably got the cancel there. Um, so he has to run those Colossus up the cliff. Everything else is pretty much forfeit. Roach is going to swarm right in the front door through the open hole, and uh, they're going to get shot down. But the supply really tells a story right now. 143 for the Zerg to the 91 of the Protoss. 28 more Roaches being made. Hive Tech coming up. Double Spire coming up. 2-2 two, two coming up for these uh, melee units, for the for the Lings. And we're seeing uh, Slasher get put into a corner where he's just going to have to keep producing units because there is no way that he's going to be able to stand up to the Zerg army. He's in one of those positions where the Zerg like to be, where uh, they can just throw away units and just keep producing more and more and more. And the Protoss can't really afford to do so. No. And every time that he's trying to get this base up and he loses it is, at the minimum, 100 minerals lost, as well as all the time. And here comes a lot more infested Terrans coming out. Again, free units. You don't want to stand around and shoot at them. Because every, uh, every piece of your uh, hit points you lose is just waste. Yeah, he's trying to get uh, base number three and base number four up. But the Zerg is at both of them. Oh, he's just chilling there. Yeah, he doesn't want him to cancel it. He's going to let him finish the, the uh, construction of the base and then knock it down in seconds so that he doesn't get 300 minerals back as a refund. Uh, 14 more lings being added into the fray. He's getting a greater spire now for broodlords in the near future. He's throwing down a couple of spine crawlers back at home for static defense. 2-2 uh, two -two is now done for these roaches. And uh, he, corruptors coming out like nuts. He pulled his infestors back. Yeah. He's just going to let it finish. Before, yep, nope. Exact, yeah. Yeah, he's that's coming in now, so maybe he's getting a little greedy here. Um, yeah, yeah, that's silly. You shouldn't give him the option to cancel. He can still cancel. He can still cancel. He doesn't. Yeah. Corner minerals lost. Unless, oh, there's enough colossi here. That's a lot of colossi. And look, yeah. he yeah. still loses it, but this force is starting to get bigger and bigger and more dangerous. We're seeing something great out of uh, for Slasher here. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have any units supporting them, though. They're, they're so open and weak right now. Those corruptors could come in and just end them immediately. Um, and like a... Oh, look at this right here. Yeah, Changeling. Yeah, Changeling just chilling, keeping um, an eye. So yeah, uh, Minkus throws away all those roaches. He gets a few kills with them, and he also clears up a bunch of supply, which he can now use to add in more Broodlords. So I think that might have even been an intentional thing. Yeah, four Corruptors, uh, two more Infestors. Zerg uh, Flyers, uh, Flyer buffs coming out, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, two big stories coming out of the Protoss right now. Mothership is on its way, and he's going to get High Templar and Storm. So uh, he'll be able to counter the Lings pretty easily with Storm. And then the Mothership, of course, is like the counter to the Broodlord threat. Oh, and we're seeing another attack here. Does he cancel this fourth? He no. Um... He stops, Minka stops attacking the fourth. Hopefully... All those corruptors on the uh, Colossus there, and all four oh, of them just God. walk right into death. Just melts them away. 
A uh, few roaches that are on 2-2 two -two is going to be more than enough to clean up these few stalkers sitting back here. Uh, oh, they're 2-0. Okay, so he's been doing melee upgrades and not spine upgrades. My mistake. Uh, and he's still sticking with that. 3-3 three -three now on the way for the lings. Still not starting any spine damage for the roaches, which is fine. Uh, so Broodlord's morphing out of those corruptors. He's upgrading the air damage, and he's also going to get good upgrades if he transitions into Ultralisks. Um, back at home, that mothership's still not ready for F Slasher, and he's going to lose his third base again. And he cannot afford to do this. No, his fourth is still there, and so I think Minkus is going to go back and tear it down. Mothership oh, and the mothership pops. comes in. The mothership here is going to hopefully turn this battle around uh, into yeah. Slasher's favor. Oh, no. fuck. You don't morph in a mothership in front of, like, 20 corruptors. Why did you let me keep going? <laughs> well, why did he keep going is the real question. <laughs> and he finally taps out. Uh, just excellently played by Minkus there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good game, y'all.